Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. You can support this channel through the PayPal and subscribe star links below to keep me making this series of videos. Any and all donations are helpful. Before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Hawkin the Good. His channel is for MGTOW men looking for philosophy and purpose in today's soy society. The number one question guys ask me is how do I find meaning and purpose in life? And Hawkin has you covered with politics and current affairs, mixed in from a male perspective. Visit his YouTube channel and see for yourself. Sponsor link is down below. Now on with the memes. Number one, hypergamy never sleeps, as apparently women are struggling to find men who can make three times more money than they do. Yes, this is the way it works. A waitress deserves a senior engineer. It makes perfect sense because they need three times as much money to pay off their debts. My main question after reading this is, does this mean that the gender pay gap is finally closing? Of course, no one would admit it even if it was true. Moving on, we have Henry Kissinger quoted as saying that military men are just dumb, stupid animals to be used as pawns in foreign policy in Robert Pelton's book. I bet all the vets out there are glad that he's gone after saying that. He also apparently, according to the people at iFunny, a parody site said that any woman born after 1993 can't cook and all they know is McDonald's and charging their phone, among other things. Number three, the next time a woman tells you She's only been with a handful of hunks. This is probably what she really means. In this modern day and age, also be sure to multiply that number that she gives you by five conservatively. Or ten if you really want something approximating the truth. Up next is a man that believes you should accept it if your wife or girlfriend wants to see other men. That if you don't allow it, you're insecure and a bigot. I say sure after she packs her bags and leaves. He probably knows this to be true because his wife and her boyfriend told him so. But we all know the truth. It's guys that would never get any action otherwise that say things like this. Number five is a woman that takes this philosophy to heart by saying that she cheated on all seven long-term boyfriends. And that it's one of the best things she's ever done as a girl. She says if a guy won't obey a gal, she needs to make him cry so he gets the point. For her long term is probably a month or so. Those are seven men that all dodged bullets without even realizing it. Artificial wombs will solve this problem. Moving on, apparently millennials need more than half a million dollars a year in income to feel happy, while baby boomers are content with only 124. It seems that everyone is only content making six figures a year these days instead of living with less. After you pay off a place in a car, you only need around 30 to 40,000 a year to live the good life after that. Number seven, three brothers simultaneously divorced their wives because they weren't wanting to take care of their sick mother. They probably figured that they won't take care of them into their old age either. We all know that many wives pretend to like their husband's mothers and vice versa. They must be Italian or some other South European background. Number eight is one great big happy family portrait in the big house. Now that's real love because he's a bad boy in jail. She may technically be a single mother, but at least she hasn't taken the kid away from the father. Like many single mothers. I feel really bad for the kid though. Here's a picture of the cameraman that took this. And then I bet you the cameraman taps the mom an hour later. Up next is a woman that tried going out on a date, but once she told the guy that she was on Lonely Friends, he left and didn't cover his portion of the tab or hers. She was left alone at the bar by a guy with the receding hairline to pick up a $60 bar tab. I know it's curable, but maybe he was worried about catching the clap that night. He might have had a receding hairline, but he definitely didn't have receding standards. Receding hair means high testosterone. Number 10, men who date women with slim waists, i.e. aren't fat, are less likely to have performance anxiety and issues with the schwing schwanks. Anna thinks that it has something to do with us being programmed to see partners with abdominal fat as a higher risk of disease. I guess they'll try and reprogram men now to find fat attractive. Talk about stating the obvious. Imagine who ended up paying for a study to realize that men like young, attractive, and healthy women. Who knew? Moving on, Brittany Venti tweeted out wondering why men think it's okay to live like this, like monks. Assad says that women hate how little it takes for us to be happy. But I think women are really upset because here's a male space that they can't conquer. Besides, many also say how dare men dedicate their lives to God. They should be marrying someone like me and dedicating their lives to my every desire. Number 12, Elizabeth Day wrote an article asking the question about what's behind the rise of childless women in their 40s. She thinks it's men in her experience. I guess it's men's fault that we just don't work hard enough to meet women's expectations these days. 
But at the same time, men aren't allowed to have preferences. This is like a woman crashing a car and saying that it's not my fault, Ossifer. It's because of the patriarchy. Up next looks like a single mother saying that April Fool's Day has been cancelled tomorrow. Because there's no bigger joke than men in this generation. Odds are she chose a bad man, had his kid, left him, and is now complaining because other men don't want her and the little girl that she's holding. That she's probably going to say is her life. It's always men's fault when something goes wrong. Number 14 is a 37-year-old man looking for life advice. All he's got is 15k and washes dishes for a living. He's also got a tiny van that he's almost renovated into a tiny home. The funny thing is he's still better off with so little being single rather than 90% of married men out there. He's wondering what he should be doing. I say move back in with your parents, buddy. Bank your money, buy Bitcoin, and pray that it goes up 10 times in the next 5 to 10 years. Turn photography into a side gig and do so much more. Moving on, we have an epic mad lad, and he was being bullied, so he boinked all five of his bully's moms to assert dominance. I'll take hilarious things that never happened for a thousand, Alex. But if it is true, I'm just hoping that these mothers spend the next 20 years in federal penitentiaries for doing this to him. That would make it even more epic, and punish his bullies even more if they lost their mothers. But seriously, imagine this being real. Someone should make a short film like this. It would be awesome. Number 16, it's not even guilty until proven innocent. Apparently a woman falsely accused a Columbia University student and he proved his innocence with an audio recording and they still ended up expelling him. If you wonder why less men are going to university these days, then this might be it. That's when you see the college so long as you have the money to do so. This poor guy probably got punished for recording their conversation without her permission, no doubts. Up next, Marvel Comics has revealed that Mystique shapeshifted into a male and then impregnated her lover, Destiny, and they had Nightcrawler together. They took a female couple, and their kid together became the most God-fearing character in the entire franchise. Talk about irony. Remember, I can ignore Marvel and Disney longer than they can stay solvent. I think that goes for all of us these days. Nightcrawler was fatherless, a joke that writes itself. Number 18 is Polish silver medalist Maria Andracek and she sold off her Olympic medal to find money for the heart surgery of a Polish boy. A Polish store ended up buying the medal and gave it back to her. But why was she so compassionate? I honestly think she had a good feeling that someone would buy it and return it to her. She would help the boy, and this would elevate her marketplace value so that some chat out there would marry her. Number 19 is Lillian and her three little angels. She's waiting for you to take them all on road trips, which she's a real big fan of. And she mentioned it twice. She's probably already enjoyed many road trips down the old Hershey Highway. Then again, in this case, maybe she rode down Latin Salsa Street instead. What a catch. A ready-made family. All you have to do is work to support a family of five, and that tattooed beauty can be all yours too. Moving on, the next wave is going to be two husbands and one wife. The thirst out there is so real that two guys are willing to share the same woman these days. I bet they don't even know who fertilized her eggs. On the bright side, if you share a wife... At least she can nag you and pull drama on you every day. Because she can alternate and only do it on one man per day. But these are not men. These are clowns. They're just missing the big red nose and floppy shoes. But at least they got sons out of the deal. Number 21 having an unwanted child has no grants to sue the mother for lying about taking the pill when she didn't. A court has ruled. I guess this means that a mother doesn't have to take any accountability. How shocking. According to Paul Elam... There are no male victims, just male volunteers. Don't leave your man juices unattended, or you could soon find yourself an unwilling father. Up next, nobody wants to work anymore, according to this baby boomer who bought a 2,000 square foot house on a paperboy salary in 1978. Aren't boomers fantastic somehow blaming the next generation for the problems they created? It's a very feminine thing to do. You can't pick yourself up by your bootstraps if inflation is making the boots too expensive to buy in the first place. You'd think the McBoomer here is bad. Wait until you meet his wife. Number 23, you have two super successful guys saying that all they now need in their lives is to date a single mother. Yes, that's exactly what these guys need. Other people's problems. OPP. This should be put in the pile that says, things a man has never said before. It's memes like these that might give the Hallmark Channel ideas for some of their cards or something. Moving on is a Georgia man that paid $80,000 for a painful limb lengthening surgery to grow six feet tall. Makes me wonder if they could do it in reverse because one day I'd like to look like a hobbit. 
Now, only if they could do this for Schwing Schwangs, it would definitely be worth the 80 grand. But then it would probably be like one of those super thin sausages or something. If only the T-Rex could have had arm lengthening surgery back in the day, then he wouldn't lack all upper body strength. Number 25 in the last one is a study showing that young men prefer playing video games over casual smooching. Both activities produce dopamine, but the one from the video game is a lot cheaper and is a guaranteed happy ending every time, regardless of if you win or lose the game. Also, you can't get an STD from a controller. Besides, most men don't want casual things. They want a meaningful relationship. And if they can't get that, the next best thing is to play a game these days. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. I hope you enjoyed this collection as much as the last one as I'm trying to self-censor as my meme videos have been getting demonetized lately. Let me know if it's just as entertaining as I'm now trying to keep things PG rated so I can continue to have videos like this monetized or I'll have to go back to making only two of them a week instead of three. If you enjoy this series, then donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.